guys, um, Cassie here again, and I thought today I would do a tour of my bathroom um, and just kind of um, show you what kind of organizational components I put in place in the bathroom. Um, this is the only full bathroom in that in our house, um, and it's also closest to our bedroom. So our bedroom is right here, and then here's our bathroom. Um, but yeah, when we have guests and everything like that, this is the bathroom that we use. So let's go inside. Um, this is just kind of an overview of what the bathroom looks like. Um, let me turn on actually the big light. So this is what the bathroom looks like. It's got tile floors and then these kind of cool um, built-in cabinets. And honestly, without the cabinets, uh, we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So in the sink area, generally try to keep it as clear and, um, and clutter free as possible, just because I like to wipe down the sink as often as I use the bathroom. Um, so less things on the sink means less hassle when you wipe it down. So over here, I've just got a um, little towel bar and a washcloth on there, or a hand towel on there. And then I've got, I still have my Christmas scent which is the Candy Cane Bliss from Bath and Body Works. So I have that soap. And then in here, this is kind of a little catch-all bin. Um, so in here we've got my husband's contacts, my um, floss, eye cream, that kind of thing. Just so that it doesn't clutter up the whole um, vanity area. So now I'm going to go into this big guy. Um, honestly, this took me a little while to figure out how to organize. it. Um, at first it was our linen closet and then that wasn't working and it was silly to be using the space for sheets and things like that. So um, I decided to do kind of an overhaul and this is uh, what has been working for us lately. So when you open it up, here's just an overview of what that looks like. And I'll go shelf by shelf. Um, I also do like to label everything, it just makes it easier and it makes... Um, makes it easier for my husband to be able to put things away when I'm not there. So the top one, top shelf, we've got towels. Um, this is the hardest to reach space, so by having the towels rolled instead of actually folded, um, not only are we saving space, but it's much easier to just kind of grab a towel and pull it down when we need it. So that's towels. Then in here we've got washcloths. Um, again, this is an everyday use kind of thing. Um, so if we're washing our face or something like that, um, it's just kind of easy access. Then the next shelf is labeled with my name. This is my shelf. Um, and then the bottom shelf is my husband's shelf. So on my shelf, um, I've got this little dish. And the dish just kind of holds any um, jewelry that I'm wearing that day, um, you know, when I wash my face or wash my hands or to get in the shower, I just throw the jewelry in there and then from there, I put it back in my jewelry cabinet. Um, back here, we've got hair care. So I've got my flat iron back here. I have my hair dryer, um, some brushes back there. Then back here, I've got some candles and some matches. Um, you know, if I ever wanna take a bubble bath or anything like that, the candles are there and ready to go. Then over here I've got my everyday products and these two little um, organizers are from, I believe they're called the Linus organizer and they're from the container store. Um, what I love about these is that this easily contains all of my skincare and beauty products without it being a jumbled mess. Uh, all just lives there and it's very easy access, easy in and out and that's what I like about it. Then I've got some deodorant, then we have both of our toothbrushes as well as our toothpaste. Um, this is just a little container from Target. Then down here, we've got, um, my husband doesn't have a lot of toiletries, but um, he does like his own space, so that's why he gets it. Um, these are his glasses, he wears them every single night, so again, just easy access. He can, catch, he can get them really easily. Then this is a little um, Lazy Susan type of thing um, that I also got at the container store. And this just houses um, cups for mouthwash, his mouthwash, shaving gel. 
So that's that, and he knows that he has his own space, you know. And then all the way in the back, I'm just gonna move this over so you can see it. So all the way in the back, I have a little three drawer chest, and this little chest, again, you can easily take it out. You can easy, easily pull it this way. And in here, I've got all travel size things. So his travel contacts, contact case, that kind of thing. Um, in here, I've got some travel lotion, uh, travel body wash, all that kind of stuff. That way it's easy, easily accessible and in one place. And when we're traveling, we know where to look. So that's that. Okay. So that's the top part of the cabinet. Then we've got three shelves down here. So the first shelf, or I'm sorry, they're not shelves, they're drawers. So three drawers. So in the first drawer, this is my drawer. Um, I get the top drawer. <laughs> so in here, I'm just gonna turn this way so you can kind of get a better view. So I've labeled things um, on the sides here, on each side. That way, I always know, my husband always knows where things go. So I've got, um, facial cottons here. These are the fancy Shiseido facial cottons that I love so much, but I also have just a regular facial cotton um, type of thing here from CVS. Um, the Shiseido ones I use specifically on my face, and then these I also like to use on my nails and things like that. Then over here we've got um, Q-tips, cotton balls, which clearly I need some more cotton balls, uh, but we also have Q-tips over here. Then in the back I've got my um, makeup cleansing towelettes. This side I have my Lush thing, so anything that I get from Lush. I don't like to keep a ton of it. Um, I like to, you know, buy it and use it, but whatever excess I have of Lush, I keep right there. Here I've got tools and timer for when I brush my teeth. I've got my uh, tweezers, just all kinds of like random tools that I use every day. Then over here I've got all of my hair care things. So I've got all of my, um, elastic ties and things like that, any clips or anything that I may use, and then also bobby pins are in there. So again, very easily accessible, um, very easy to, to keep organized once you are organized. So that's really good. Then the next shelf, this is my husband's drawer. Um, so in here we've got eye care, so you know um, his contacts and all that kind of stuff live in there. Then we've got deodorant, so the two deodorants that he's using now. The next little cubby has um, shaving items, so his razors, his refills, his electric little trimmer, and then aftershave. And then the next little area is labeled ETC, meaning etc. So this is a stand to um, charge his razor. Then we've got, um, this is like a little thing to fix eyeglasses um, and then I think there's also a little extension cord in there so it's just kind of like random things but things that he needs to know where they are at all times then he's got some breathe right strips over here um, some extra cups for mouthwash this is his um, he cuts his own hair and I actually help him cut his hair so this is his um, hair cutting kit and that's what's in his drawer then the bottom drawer, and these drawers are really nice actually, I'll show you, they kind of are, they're called soft close, so you can try to slam it, and they just close gently. So that's something I love. Okay, the bottom drawer, this is all um, medical related, first aid related, that kind of thing. Um, so I got these four baskets, and all of these things, ex with the exception of the um, Linus organizer and the toothbrush holder from Target. All of this stuff is from the dollar store, all of the containers. So, um, so I got these containers and in this back one we've got sleep aids and cold and flu medicine. In here we've got supplements or vitamins, that kind of thing. Um, in here this one is for aches and pains and then in here this one's first aid. What I love about this setup is that you can literally grab this little guy. So let's say, you know, you want to look through all the supplements. You can take the basket completely out, put it on the counter, look through your supplements, and then put it right back when you're done. So it's an easy kind of foolproof way 
let's face it, husbands are not always the most prone to being organized. So as organized as I am, um, you know, I try to make it easy for my husband to follow my lead, that kind of thing. And then in here we just have some, um, it's like a band-aid container with band-aids in it. So that's that. That's this whole big cabinet. Um, as you can tell, if we didn't have it, we'd be in big trouble. So I'm really happy, um, you know, that when we bought the house, it came with this big cabinet. So now I'm going to go under the sink and take, just kind of give you a look at what's under the sink. Um, sorry if I'm kind of close. I'm going to do the best that I can to kind of film this. Um, so under the sink is really kind of a tough one to be able to organize because, again, we had a lot of things that we need to store. We also shop at Costco a lot, which means things are getting bought in bulk. So trying to find a solution and a system to keep everything contained is a little bit difficult, but I think we did an okay job here. So I will start um, left to right. So in here, we've got extra hair care products that are mine. And again, this is an easy in and out kind of thing. So behind that, this is just an old shoe box. Um, this is my husband's extra shower gels. So we just recently took a trip to Costco and the, his shower gel that he loves was, it came in a six pack. So obviously he's got one in the shower and then I, fit, I was able to fit five extra shower gels in there. So that was good. Then behind this thing, this is actually a feminine product case, but I just keep extra um, mouthwash cups in here. And then behind that, I also have some big bulkier items that are um, cleaning related, like bathroom cleaning, that kind of thing. And that just kind of sits nicely, you know, if I need to take something out, um, I can do so easily because everything is kind of in its own compartment. Um, at the same time, I'm not really going to be using all six of his shower gels, you know, it will take some time for him to use the shower gel, which is why it makes sense to be in the back and on the bottom. Then over here, I've got four, these are four just shoe boxes, um, again, from the dollar store, so that was a great deal. Um, the top one I have feminine products, and you know, sorry if this is TMI, but what I love about this is that I literally can just pull it out use what I need and then put it right back in and things are contained they're not flying everywhere then I've got um, extra shaving cream of my husband's you know again from Costco the shaving creams usually come in a four pack so we've got three extra shaving creams that he's not using right now so that's where that lives then in here we've got extra deodorant vitamins and aspirin and then in the bottom one, we've got sunscreen and sunblock. We also have um, aloe vera in there and that kind of thing. This is on the bottom because right now it's winter. But once winter's over and summer starts and we're, we start to actually use the sunscreen, I'll move it up, you know, maybe in between here. That way we have easier access to it. So that's that. And then over here, we just have two extra toothpastes. And then this is labeled uh, bathroom cleaning supplies. So what I did is I have all kinds of toilet paper kind of stacked up here. And I never actually really have opened this nine pack of toilet paper because it's kind of what keeps the toilet paper um, resting above the cleaning supplies. So we've got some Fe Febreze here, which is easy to access. And then if you just lift up this thing, you'll see we've got um, extra sponges, some gloves, um, the toilet bowl cleaner and that kind of thing and that all lives in there again also easily contained so that's the inside of the um, under sink cabinet I know different people have different ways of organizing this but this seems to be the best way for us um, so yeah so that's basically the tour of the bathroom um, I hope you guys liked it I hoped um, you could take something away from it. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.